Well, we should be in store for a pretty wild week here in crypto. Pretty crazy because we have a lot of key things happening. We're going to highlight all of the key dates, everything you need to know in terms of what's going down, uh, go, what's going down uh, this week, the hottest crypto news that you need to know. So before we jump in, before we start, make sure you guys hit that like button for us, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Miles over on X put out some great stuff today. I want to talk about this, uh, each and every one of these, and really dive into the FTX liquidation approval a little bit, give you some numbers, give you some figures in terms of what we can expect here. We could be getting uh, ready to see some sell-offs in a lot of the holdings here, so stick around for that uh, toward the backside of this video because we're going to dive into that FTX liquidation uh, approval pending court ruling, uh, which is scheduled to happen on Wednesday. Uh, also on Wednesday, U.S. CPI uh, data coming in. That means inflation data coming in on Wednesday. That'll be big. Uh, brace yourself for some volatility this week because we've got uh, a big co uh, conference happening on Wednesday and Thursday as well. Token 2049. Uh, going on. Who knows what we can hear or see out of the conference. Sometimes that can swing the markets in different directions. And then we've got Thursday uh, PPI and retail sales data coming in. So some big data figures coming in here again on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday is probably the big one because we got US CPI data and we have that FTX liquidation approval. And again, we're going to dive into that here in deeper detail here. But, you know, this should be a fun week. There's always something happening. We've got a little bit more uh, than something happening this week. You know, I love this wild ride we're on. No matter what, there's always something happening in crypto, even during this bear market, right? Uh, just glad to be here and in it with all of you. And as you guys know, uh, in this bear market, there's no better time to get into trading. And before we go over and talk about FTX, I want to talk about XTAlgo. This is my trading indicator that I had built. Uh, it's been out on the market now for a few weeks. This thing is helping hundreds of people, and I hope very, very soon we'll be helping thousands of people because this works. And this indicator, very, very simple to use. I did this strategically for beginners. You can use this with Bitcoin. You could use it with Apple. You can use it with Forex, uh, as well as trading precious metals, commodities even. Uh, and what this does is it gives you entry points and exit points to make you a better trader, right? It's easier, I think, to get into an asset at a good price when things are down. It's hard to make a successful trade, right? When things go up 20%, should I get out now or should I wait until it goes up 30%? Well, utilizing a trading indicator like mine, XTAlgo, will allow you to take the guesswork out of things and allow you to make better decisions just based on the data. And this is uh, data-driven results here using XTAlgo will definitely make your life easier. Check it out. There's a huge discount code right now, limited time offer on that, and this will not last very, very long. So check it out. Link down below in the description. As promised, I want to go back and talk about this, the FTX liquidations, okay? So here's what's happening uh, basically this week. A court motion to appoint a liquidator with discretionary $100 million per week sales mandate uh, this is a tweet that came out from the official FTX Twitter account, has raised the alarm among some traders, basically signaling that FTX could be unraveling uh, some of their assets here. On Wednesday, the rarely used official FTX account tweeted that the organization, quote, has been actively bridging tokens from various blockchains to their native chains, perhaps in an effort to cut back on vulnerabilities, related to any bridge hacks. Additionally, the tweet mentioned consolidating assets with custodian BitGo. So analysts have long criti uh, criticized this organization, FTX, for inefficiently managing the company's remaining assets and customer deposits following the November 2022 collapse of FTX, which uh, with at times amateur interactions with DeFi protocols, on-chain analysts shows that over the past week, known FTX addresses have indeed bridged a number of assets. According to uh, the uh, analyst, uh, one analyst out there, FTX bridged 1.5 million in Uni, which is Uniswap from Solana to Ethereum. BlockWorks analysis uh, of data from Arcam shows that FTX addresses also bridged over 12 million in ETH, as well as some smaller sums of Sushi, YFI, and HXRO. So basically, what's happening here, if we bounce over here, FTX liquidations incoming, Saul going to 
really take a big hit. Maybe FTT will finally go to zero, this tweet says. So here's what's going on. Here's how much Solana FTX still has. $685 million there. Uh, and we've got you know their FTT token, still a ton of that as well, $529 million there. Bitcoin, $268 million. You got Ethereum there, Aptos, Doge, Matic, uh, Toncoin, quite a bit there, XRP, a bunch of stable coins there. And then you've got a ton of uh, crypto held on third-party exchanges as well. Uh, so this will be very, very interesting to watch this play out and see uh, what happens here and how much will be sold off if Solana is the big uh, one that's hit here. There is, uh, you know, all the always been those connections with Solana. We saw Solana take a huge hit back in, you know, late 2022. Uh, but we'll be keeping uh, very, very close tabs on this as well. Uh, so don't uh, don't miss out on anything that we have breaking relating to the FTX liquidations uh, looming here this week, which could happen as soon as Wednesday. We'll be on top of that story uh, with more insight and information and be ready to give it to you. Make sure you guys hit that like button for us down below. And uh, always, always, always appreciate you guys so much for stopping back by the channel. And again, check out XTAlgo. If you're serious about making money in this bear market, you're serious about becoming a better trader, you need the tools to do so. XTAlgo is down there and ready uh, for you to jump in. 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like it, risk-free. Try it risk-free today. XTAlgo.com. Use the discount code XTALGO at checkout. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video.